Hello guys, welcome to the channel. We're going to be trying something new. I've always wanted to try this, but it's always been seafood and I'm like, ugh. And that is... <coughs> paella. Or is it pronounced paella or paella? Uh, if I've got it, if I said it wrong, apologies. But here it is. It is part of the Marks and Spencer's ready meal range. They are doing them two for five pounds. So this basically works out to two pound fifty. Um, I've got a few going. I've got a Yorkshire pudding, filled chicken tikka. I've got um, wedges, like a covered wedges in in meat and stuff. Um, and I've also got Caribbean style chicken. So I'm gonna give all of them a try on separate videos and see what I think of it. But today we're gonna have this one. So I'm just gonna get this heated up and I'll bring you back and we'll get started. Right, here it is. Here is the paella, or paella. I don't know how I'm supposed to say it. It is. Cooked chicken breast pieces, barley and rice in a paprika spiced tomato sauce with red peppers, idami soybeans, peas, and roasted chorizo. What? This product contains alcohol. Does it? Hope it don't get me drunk. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, yeah. I got these. With a sports cap I absolutely loved them and I thought you know what what is better than getting 750 milliliters than getting a one and a half liter bottle and then putting the sports cap from these onto here and it is airtight so yeah that's great so today I'm drinking a lot of water <laughs> I do love me some water. I'm, I'm not drinking it for any reason. There's no particular reason why I'm having it. So yeah, <laughs> I, st I still drink fizzy drinks. I still enjoy my fizzy drink, but sometimes it's nice to just refresh your mouth with water. Right, let's give this a try and see what we think. Some of the vegetables are still crunchy. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, <laughs> just because it's a supermarket version. Um, I have always wanted to try paella, but whenever I went, or, or whenever I seen it available, it was only ever the seafood version, and I really don't like prawns, so. It's nice, it's got a nice flavor to it. No, it's not spicy or anything in any way. It's nice. And for <clears throat> these ready meals are on offer in Morrison's until March, I believe, or March or April, either the third of next year or the fourth month of next year. They're available for, so you've got a good while to get hold of them. You know what, to be fair, I kind of like Morrison's like that when they do long offers you know so you don't have to feel like you have to brush to get it in that week that it's on offer mm. yeah if you guys have ever had a paella or paella However, it's said. Sorry, I didn't. I, I, sh I didn't. I don't know 
how it's pronounced. <clears throat> but if you guys have ever had one, let me know in the comments. Um, are the vegetables supposed to be crunchy or is it just a supermarket version that I've got? It's okay, no wrong, because I think without the crunch to the vegetables, it's like really mushy otherwise. So, but it's not, not, it's not bad, it's got a decent flavour. First bit of chicken I found. First bit of chorizo as well. This is not too bad. Oh, <clears throat> I got a delivery coming tomorrow. Of all the I ingredients I need for the Coddle, the Irish Coddle, the first fish. The reason why the paella video finished like that is because it became corrupted um, halfway through, along with all five of the videos I had on that memory card had got corrupted because I decided to buy some extra batteries for my camera for when I go to London so these are proper uh, well, batteries um, when the battery died because it was still recording at the time it completely corrupted the entire camera um, it completely messed up the memory card inside there the brand new memory card I bought um, luckily the memory card was fine once I wiped all the footage I had, because um, it was completely corrupted, I couldn't I couldn't get my camera on with the memory card in there. So yeah, um, I'm fuming. I'm absolutely fuming. Um, it's it's messed up the the other half of the paella video. I had a chicken tikka uh, in a Yorkshire pudding. I had a Caribbean chicken uh, I had a what else was there there was um, potato wedges um, but yeah I am I, I, I'm so angry so so angry because I wanted to try and get some videos to for me to be ahead when I'm in London so then they could be playing on on YouTube while I'm in London while I'm doing my thing um, and yeah, it just absolutely corrupted all of my files. I am so angry right now. I'm fuming. Um, I'm sorry this is a bit of a long rant, but I just went to start editing all the videos I've made. Um, so that way I, I had time to relax and get my bag ready, get all my clothes ready. I've, I've bought a, a load of brand new clothes to, to take with me on a trip to London um, as well. So, you know, I was going to get all my bags sorted, get everything bagged up, ready to go. <clears throat> and then when, with, with having uh, videos on YouTube for the next two weeks, I would have been able to bag up my tripod and all of my filming equipment. So that way it's in the bag already. I don't have to bag up my bag last minute and then end up forgetting something behind um but yeah uh, apologies for this long run um yeah i'm not happy i'm not that happy i'm really upset um so hopefully <sighs> but yeah um 
sorry. So unfortunately, the Yorkshire pudding, uh, chicken tikka filled Yorkshire pudding, which was disgusting, by the way. Um, it was disgusting how soggy the underside of the Yorkshire pudding was. It was horrid. The Caribbean chicken was sweet. Just, oh, because it had pineapples in it, which, mm, yeah, didn't help it. Um, pineapples and mango. I didn't know until I bought it and I had it at home. Um, the potato wedges, the chili wedges, wasn't too bad, to be fair. That, funny enough, that was the best one out of all of the, the videos I made. Um, but, yeah, I'm gutted. <sighs> yeah, oh, man. But yeah, sorry uh, about this paella video. That that was all the footage that was available. Um, it froze after that, and there was nothing that could have been done um, for it. So I am so very sorry. Right, hello guys, welcome to the channel. We're going to be trying something new in this video, and it is a chicken tikka filled Yorkshire pudding. I've never, never had this before. Oh, the smells coming off of this is really nice. Right, let me give it a try. <laughs> right, this is what it looks like inside. I wait for the light to adjust on the camera. But yeah, that's what it looks like inside. Looks interesting. Yeah, definitely looks interesting. Looking forward to trying that. So I'm just gonna put it in the oven and when it's done, I'll bring you back and we'll get started. <laughs> 